can do it. Okay, please check the surface. On the equator, we don't have centrifugal forces, so that's the reason that the oxygen is going to fall straight down. In your home, normally you're going to see a whirlpool kind of vortex, mm -hmm. but look at the difference. Okay, please, if you want to come closer and check on the surface. I put the leaves. And if you can see the leaves on the equator, Wall Street. Wow. Okay? Now I'm going to do a demonstration about the Coriolis effect. Demonstra demonstration because we need a far away distance to see a real and a natural effect with a natural disaster in special. But now let's go south the hemisphere. <laughs> Do you remember what are the forces in the south? Clockwise. They are clockwise, mm -hmm. like this. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to the game. We are so closer to the line. Most of the time, that's happening. Sorry. You see? Fall straight down. That's when I know that it's there. It's a love at That's a chili. <laughs> Yeah, Yeah, the vortex. let the water settle. Let the water settle down. <laughs> you see that it's clockwise in the south. <laughs> okay? That's... Okay. So the natural disaster in the northern hemisphere, they are counting. And if you can see the whirlpool that is in the northern hemisphere, this is the strongest as the southern hemisphere. That's because in the northern hemisphere you have more land, more mass. We have Central America, North America, Europe, Africa, Asia, part of Indonesia.